How much battery you got left? These guys don't know that we have a trick up our sleeve and uh, we'll leave it at that. Welcome back to day two of the annual South African electric car test, charged by Autotrader. Our teams are finally at the halfway mark. Much to their surprise, they were not allowed to recharge. Their next clue will take them to their final destination. Will they make it? Let's have a look. Range? We're leaving the car here. You're officially, I'm ready. Ah, you're officially at the halfway mark. Woohoo! Get to your next location for your next clue. Do you see the rollback? Could it be for you? Ah. Oh. We oh, that's for Don and him. Yeah, same. yeah, shame for them. Same. Okay, so we can hit it. So we are good to go. We're going to Girotech. We sure are. We have are. directions. What mode are we in here? Start. Do we have Eco the ticket? Pro. Have the ticket you the have ticket. the ticket. And let's go. Oh, this is the rollback. This is, this is why I came this way. This is uh, how uh, Donovan and possibly Nicholas are going to be getting home. Oh no, we're not doing anything, don't you worry. Yeah, it's working, it's working. Leave that card. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we pulled a bit of a move here. Yeah, we did. Um, we pretended like our key was lost, uh, or not lost, taken. Taken. By somebody, it wasn't. Uh, we've let everybody leave and uh, we've got this charging station all to ourselves and uh, it's given us a bit of juice. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll yeah. see. We'll see and no one said we couldn't. Nobody said we couldn't. Guys, we're just very smart people. Yes. Take your eye pace and don't on and brag about that. <laughs> Look what we've just done. Exactly. Let's go. We could basically drive to Clarence. We could. If we wanted. We, we, could. Could go, we could go to Bloom with the amount of power we have. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Shame. So, so sad for Don and the Mond if they stuck already. Because they got there with 26% battery. You know, the range anxiety is real. It's real. Like, I, I, I my eyes like will constantly look and then it will come back yeah. and rest on the one. Constantly come back and rest because and it always feels like it's. It's never constant. Yes. So you'll be on 37 kilometers and you're going for a while and then you look down again and all of a sudden it's jumped to 30. Then you're yes. like, ah, now you're not going to make it. It's 25 Ks we need. We're good. 61 Ks to go. Range nice. anxiety gone. I'm loving electric cars more and more. Weren't we on 30 something percent when we left? We were. How are we on 27? I have no idea. I think it's an aircraft. 18.5 percent. 53 kilometers, yeah man, and here we are at our destination. Range anxiety, gone. Gone. Oh, we're going at Jerotech, obvious. After this gate, what is here next? <laughs> and then, yeah, obvious. <laughs> Jerotech and finish and nah. So, at this point at 43%, you nah, feel guy. any range anxiety? Nah, guy. I'm actually cocky now. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit range arrogant. I don't know if that's a thing. You range have range arrogant. anxiety you've and you got range arrogance. Words. Range yeah. arrogance. Yeah, you have range anxiety, <coughs> the opposite of which is range arrogance. What does that mean? The aircon is on even when I'm standing. We've got 18% left and <laughs> it makes me so anxious. Like we have one bar left. Even after riding in neutral, come on. This is an antiperspirant. Yeah. Also sitting on like 10%. Yeah, there. no, mine too. All right, we are headed straight to Girotech. Okay. Which says it's 24 kilometers away. How did it go into 12%? I don't know. Oh, come on! Girotech test facilities come. And so we're on 17 k's now, we're almost on par. Okay. Here's it. You see, look at that uphill. Uh, uh, we sped up quite a bit there. We sacrificed a kilometer and a percentage of yes. battery power just to get us up this hill. And we, we're coasting all the way in yeah, we up. When did this thing drop to 14 <laughs> kilometers? Come on! Sitting on 3%. And 4%. Four kilometer range. range. And uh, I think we're here. I think we're here. We're here. We've made it. What are we on there? 2%. <laughs> Our teams have arrived at their final destination. The dynamic handling track at Geratech, where they must drive until they drop. In other words, until their batteries reach 0%. 
With its many twists and turns and the constant need to decelerate hard, it's trickier to run down the battery than you might think around here. So let's see how they get on. Okay, here we go. We've got word from our sponsors. They're not our sponsors, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Welcome to Jira Tech. You made it this far. Congratulations. How amazing is that car? Unbelievably amazing. All good things must come to an end. This is not sounding good. So it's here where we turn this challenge on its head. The dynamic handling track will be your playground until four o'clock. And it is now almost quarter past three. Can you deplete your battery? Push your heel to the floor. They've changed the whole thing on us. It's now no longer about how you can conserve it, but the first one to run flat wins. <laughs> this is evil. This is evil and unnecessary. It's like BMW run flats. <laughs> Will it get to the thing? That's the problem. Hey. Can I close your window? Yeah. You remember the track, huh? Yeah. Okay, it was, uh... Maybe it's further down. Yeah, it's further down. One kilometer. We might, we might not make the trip. I don't think we'll make the trip. <sighs> so yeah, so then there, and then it obviously kinks out. Of Still one percent. Still one percent. One percent, zero kilometers. Really? Yeah. I must tell you, not to say that you should go on a diet or anything. <laughs> we were averaging one and a half percent per lap, and we're now done thirty-one percent. Your weight <laughs> has brought good fortune. <laughs> Whatever you had for lunch, my friend. Hey, I hope you have medical aid and we keep doing that. She's dead. <laughs> we've did, we've done it, uh, or we've successfully done it. This yeah. was part of the... I think what you need to clarify is that we did it in one lap. We did do it in one lap. Yeah. So the challenge was to drain and deplete battery. Control. Yeah. Oh, the money's run out. It's giving us passengers. The money's died. The money's <laughs> dead. The money is dead. The money's dead. We're getting a passenger. <coughs> We need another passenger. Send the fattest one, please. Send the thin one to the BMW. We need the biggest, the heaviest one. Are you honestly? <laughs> you're really gonna go? Oh, but it's hot, bro. <laughs> you're really gonna go? It's hot. Six pack. Come and get into Uber six pack here. Really Are you really going? Go on the other side. Uh, Donovan, I want to say good luck. Um, I hope the rest of your day works out. Does your aircon work when your back is finished? I'm not even gonna try. Bye. <laughs> Oh no, but it's very nice. And I like its progressive power. Yes. I also like that it took half a lap for you to betray Don and become our best friend and start complimenting you. <laughs> I love! That's what the Jack I does. It makes you forget your previous life and your previous bad decisions. You'll just start breathing air. This air coming out of this aircon has been pumped from Switzerland yet. Yes. This air you're breathing now, this is not Eurotech oxygen. Yes, this is not Eurotech This is important. I flushed the toilet there, sparkly yeah. water came out. Yeah. I was like, come on. <laughs> come on! Okay, 6.5%, let's go! Oh yeah, yeah! Yeah, man! They've just been so cocky all day, you know? No, and now we're gonna destroy them. 1.5%? Eesh! I'm trying to get a bit more like bursts of. Come on! Kilometer. So we've lost another passenger to car sickness. Uh, <laughs> Did you jump out for car sickness? <laughs> the BM. The BMW looks like it's about to get sick. Oh, it's done! Oh, it's done! Look at that! Look at that! You're kidding. Do you have enough power to open the window? Oh, good! <laughs> no, I don't we know won. why you laugh. You can't laugh. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. We you won. guys won by losing badly. That's how losers <laughs> celebrate. We are the best losers in the world. You're so amazing at losing, we couldn't even lose first, we lost second. That's how terrible you are at losing. Walk rather than get a guy. Listen, you can walk in this heat. I don't mind picking you up. All I'm saying is you'll be my complexion by the time you get back there. Good luck. Okay, you holding on? It's much cooler in here. Seatbelts on, seatbelts on. Do your prayers and whatever your insurance things need. Go. Three, two, go. Champions, my friends, no time for losers because George and I are champions. And in honesty, I'd be singing this, but I don't think we have what the What have right. you done to my car? George, all I did was just show it what its true potential is. You know what I mean? Because you were nursing it. A drone. No, I'm just saying, there's something, a there's drone? like, 
You get 20% extra acceleration when the debit order for the car doesn't come off your account. I'm just saying I found like an extra ah, you found a gap between where your payments end and and right now I took good care of it. The results from the city driving simulation test are in. The Mini Cooper SE traveled 205 kilometers from 100% charge, including a 10% top up. The BMW i3 S e Drive Rex traveled 213.2 kilometers on a single charge without the use of its range extender. And finally, the Jaguar I-Pace covered a distance of 247 kilometers on a single charge using 92% of its battery. Okay. I love it. I love the iPads. I love it with all my heart. I love it that I would spend my own money on it, but I understand that it's not fair because these are not apples and apples. When I ask the prices of the different ones, that's when you see which one is an apple, which one is a small apple. So in truth, I would have any of them. If I, if I only did 100 kilometers a day, I'd have the Mini because it's cute and it's a Mini and it's electric. If, if, if I had kids, I'd probably have the i3 for the daily. And then the iPads just means your studies paid off. You didn't do that hard work for no reason. And now your friends can be jealous. Plus you plug things in. People love to plug. I've just got one thing that I got out of this whole trip. Yes. I converted him. Yeah, I did. He converted him. He's driving an M5, M3, M what? I got a 635, 635 turbo. 635 turbo. And I said to him, have I converted you? He said, yes. It's Into what? And he says he's not a petrol head anymore. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a car head now. An automobile head. If it's got four wheels, and it, and it drives like this thing. Can, can the people who are doing PR for electric vehicles, can you up your game? Electric vehicles are fun. Electric vehicles are exhilarating. Petrol, you're not losing anything. You're not losing anything. This thing even makes other sounds. You feel like Buzz Lightyear, plus you're going, Papa. You're going. Think about being on full boost the whole time. I can talk the whole day about why they are amazing. Do you like talk? See why I like to he's talk, converted. Talk. See why he's converted. Um, okay, so I think for me, I love the i3. Um, I'm also converted um into an ev head like i had no idea all my perceptions were smashed um it's a surprisingly fun car to drive i think if i had to take one home um as much as i love the suv um the i3 there's just something special for in town city driving and once all the infrastructure is up because we've discussed that um then this is the winner the i3 consistent and beautiful but like us as a team. Actually, as a team, yeah. <laughs> completely consistent. Okay, I think my favorite thing about the day has, besides driving these EVs, is watch Nicholas convert from a sort of petrol head-ish, even though you're not Pet a yeah, head kind of petrol head-ish, to someone who you could see when he got in, he was a little bit deflated and thought this was going to be quite boring. And then when he put his foot down and realized how quick it is off the mark and how fun it is to drive, he just kept kind of whoop whooping through it. Guys, you have no idea. I think that, um, I mean, the other guys might have said it, but I don't think we we appreciate what we get to do as On jobs. a daily basis, yeah, that's true. Like, who would have thought that on a random day, we'd come <laughs> out and drag electric vehicles. Yeah. It's such an unbelievable experience and definitely something that I personally will be talking about for a very long time. Um, and it was so great to be paired up with this gentleman, a fellow geek. You know, so we got into this car and apart from the talk and, you know, all of the wonderful things that come with it, like we really got into the nitty gritty of mm. how this stuff works and what the future of these cars is going to be. So that was super exciting for me. And it's 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 always interesting, especially with cars, you know, cars go through all these weird different phases and to imagine that the phase that we're in right now and how we perceive cars when we, when our kids are, are older, you know, 18, 20, whenever they can have cars, that this is going to be standard and it's going to be a norm. And it makes me excited because if we're excited about this car now, can you imagine? In 20 when years they time. Yeah, yeah, in 20 years time, what we're going to have. So yeah. um, what a thing, you know, I, I never, we've always all had a perception of what electric cars are about. You know, we've, we've, we've read and we've watched YouTube videos, but to actually get into one and, you know, feel and speak about everything other than the green aspect mm. was incredible you know fast uh, you know i mean the only thing that was missing was the sound but then you get that back in the talk that you get because we, we actually said this is literally touch and go yeah. that's what it is you're, <laughs> you're there this really has been a great experience we enjoyed the mini we will put through our paces with them there's a little paces <laughs> with the mini how long did you guys charge for it mainland we did, we did we charge, charge for we a little charge. bit yeah. <laughs> there's no way that we we're gonna make it whatever yeah.
We charged. We charged. We only got 10%, which was not enough. Yes. We still had to yes. work hard. So when you guys watch this eventually, you'll notice that we actually had to work hard. And I think out of everybody here, we, we did the most really, work. We did. Yeah. We were put through our paces yeah. when it comes to what would happen if you started, because that's a question that people ask. What would happen if you started running out of power in an electric vehicle? When you watch this video, oh God, you'll know exactly what to do. We have given you tips and tricks. <laughs> FAQs are going to be quotes from <laughs> us. <laughs> Neutral. No, man, FAQ. <laughs> FAQ, frequently <laughs> asked questions. <laughs> we made it and it was unbelievable. And yeah, thank you to you guys, man. I think this has been a fantastic experience. I speak on behalf of everybody. Um, definitely something I never thought that I would do. Mm. Um, and we'd love to do it again sometime.